Hey guys, I'm hanging out at Everglades Outpost and I'm hanging out with Martha and we're about to go in with all these alligators. Uh oh, they're hissing. We gotta get in there and there are some nests right in the back corners and uh, we're gonna try to get them out. All right guys, so we have all these alligators behind us and we gotta cross over there. A whole mode of alligators in order to get to those nests. So uh, let's see if we can get these guys back up here. Come on, guys. Come on. This is super slippery, Albert, so just be careful. Those guys are definitely good. Which one? The same one? Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same one. The same one, yeah. Come on, you're back. This is the one that actually also came. He actually came up and swam right up after Albert. Oh, man. Totally crossing a whole mode of alligators, guys. Woo! Woo! Oh. Whoa! Whoa, we got two alligators coming out. We got a rope for this. We got two nests here, guys. So we're gonna have to rope rope this alligator. Hopefully it don't get bit. Alright. So we'll bring her over here because she's gonna be protective over that nest which is by Albert. Alright. Now I actually have to drag her. She's a very protective mother. I'm gonna be easy with her so it doesn't really hurt her, but she will fight. You want me to tie her off on the tree? Yeah, I'm trying to wash all my Oh, we got another nest sack over here? Yeah, there's three. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie her off on this tree so while we can check this other nest over here. You can, that branch that's right here. Yeah, well, that gives her a little more leeway to get into the other one. So we have two mother alligators here. We have one alligator that I just moved right there, and we have this alligator right here who is very protective of her nest. So what I have to do is I have to get her in the water so that we can get these eggs. Or actually, I can start with this nest once we get her in the water, because we already have this mama tied up, you know? Ooh. Yep. And we'll just keep her away. Well, look at that protection. She's, she's gonna going. turn. Yeah. yeah, she is. And you have other ones in the back too. Yeah, they're not up here though. All right, now we got her back into the water. She's probably not gonna stay there very long. As soon as she gets a chance, she knows her nest is here. She's gonna to try to get back up here and protect it. So one thing we gotta do while we're harvesting these eggs, we gotta watch this alligator. All the other alligators in here, how many alligators do you think there are in here, Martha? 25. Probably 25 different alligators that are in here. So we have two mothers. One mother we tied up over here, and the other one, she's gonna come back up to the water again. So what I'm gonna do is guard it, and Martha, you're gonna go ahead and dig in. I'm, I'm ready right. to start if you're ready. To All right, let's go. Yeah, she sees you. She definitely yeah, she sees knows. you digging. She totally sees you digging. Oh, got him. You got him? So we are going to collect the eggs and the reason why we do this is because we want to a keep a tally of how many eggs are being collected and two we can then determine how many hatch out because we are a sanctuary we do not want an influx of alligator eggs hatching out we don't need them yeah because we are getting a lot of alligator eggs already right so basically well, what we'll a lot of alligators in, nuisance yeah, alligators nuisance that we, alligators. brought in every week. So we don't need more alligators, but if we were to leave these eggs here, they would hatch out and then there would be a lot more. And unfortunately, state law obviously also needs you to control how many are being hatched out. How many now, alligators are being mm -hmm. Because we can determine how many we'll allow to come out or, you know, become non-viable. 
was. How many have you found so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But that's a. I mean, she's not a big girl, but that's definitely. I'm gonna push this towards you. Really, don't they have more like thirty? Yeah, it depends on whether it's her first year laying, if you know how big she is. She might. I don't think she'll have more, but sometimes they come back and finish up again. So some of you guys might actually think it's sad that we're taking the eggs out of here. But as Martha just said, um, you can only hatch a certain number of alligators. We already have a ton of alligators. Right, so and you don't want the more. other thing is that uh, if these alligator eggs right here hatch right here with all these other alligators in here, they would end up being food. So yep. the other alligators would eat them. Alligators will eat other alligators. Um, and uh, them being smaller. And on that note, I'm sure you'll get someone that will say, well, why don't you just neuter or spay everyone? Realistically, as a sanctuary, with the amount of alligators we get coming in, we can't neuter and spay all of them. So this is a way of us controlling how much is added to the population. Well, you can see she is a good mother and she is guarding her nests. And guys, this is another reason why if you're out in the glades around this time of year, oh, yeah. you might run into an alligator. You may run into an alligator and have an alligator chase you and you don't know why. She it, just you're looking at these nests right here, they're partly grass, they're partly dirt, they're partly um, a kind of built up mound, but you may not see that. You're walking along, you're walking with your dog, you're walking with your kid. Um, so it's especially important this time of year to be careful. Like this is a decently sized. So like a first nest might actually be fewer eggs. Like that one yep. we just saw so might have actually be like been like the first, first time yep. she's actually laid eggs. Yeah. She just might not be a good layer as well, like um, compared to this nest. And so I'll take also, this nest is a little drier, but I will take bacteria, meaning like um, leaves and debris from the nest. Yeah, with me. and put it with you when you actually put them in the incubator. Yep. Because that way the bacteria that is already naturally occurring in the nest and that helps them build out, um, helps break down the calcium as well in the egg to help the babies hatch out. And then the babies are also absorbing the calcium so that when it's time for them to start hatching out, you'll notice stress fractures in the egg. And that just is indicating that, hey, we're getting ready to come out. So another cool thing about these guys is that the sex of these guys are determined by their uh, temperature, temperature, right? Higher temperatures equal males, lower temperatures equal females. So and like 92, 93 degrees um, is gonna give you males and then slightly less than that will give you females. You can't have it too ranged down either, so you're not gonna incubate them at 80 degrees. And too high will also obviously kill them. I mean, they build perfect incubators in the wild. And it's just this material right here. You can, actually feel, grass, you can actually feel it right now, it's yeah. actually warm. It's yeah. warm to the touch. So I'm gonna put layer some of this on top of that and then we'll collect from the third nest. All right guys, we have another nest right here. And we got to watch out for that other mom that's still behind us with that nest. And we're not sure exactly which one of these is the mother. Probably one of these. Either that, sometimes you get alligators that don't even take care of their nests. Yeah, sometimes you'll get the moms that just don't They just kind of leave it and that's... Young moms perhaps, um, some that just don't have it in them to do so. And then you have others that are just so protective over their nests. So we're going to go over there and we're going to see if one of these is the protective mother. If it is, she will come charging in this direction. She should at least. Or it could be that they're just starting to build that nest and they're not even could fully be. done with that nest yet. So it may be they're not even ready. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 don't, see, I don't see a protective mother here. I don't see a protective mother. We'll, I'll so start digging. We're going to keep an eye out though because there could be one over here just went over here and she just stepped away from the nest and then suddenly she's going to come charging when she sees yep. us over here. Yeah. So I'm going to guard here and Martha's going to go ahead and dig in. No, there's eggs. Oh, are there? Yeah. Whoa, nice look at that. Too. Actually, there are a bunch of eggs. Yeah. A nice clutch. Oh, man. Look at them. There's one turning back, but no, she's not. One. I mean, that's weird. Maybe she's like an alley cat and just drops the Maybe babies. We'll so one way you guys can tell that these eggs are fertile is you'll actually sometimes see a little band on them. And alligators always lay their eggs um, just one way and they don't roll them. They're not like a duck or a chicken where they're constantly rolling. So when we're taking these guys out, we are taking them very slowly and we're just kind of setting them in here. And then we're packing around this stuff so they don't kind of move around. Yep. 
And then... And if we roll these around, uh, they it could actually potentially kill the, the mm -hmm. developing... Embryo. So the ones that we do hatch here, um, sometimes what we'll do is we use them as educational ambassadors so people yep. can actually learn about them. They can see what a baby alligator. We'll also often participate with like research studies where yep. we're looking at how the alligators are growing, um, how the American alligator grows, uh, and their, kind of their development, facilities. educational facilities. And there's other places that may want an, a, an alligator. And that's the reason when we do hatch them. Yep. Any left in there? Or is that, uh, yeah, there's two more. So we're here. And then be digging in there. Now the fun part will be walking across the moat and not dropping it. Yeah. Charles, I might have to hand these eggs to you and you walk across that's with fine. them that's because fine. I'm afraid of slipping that's as fine. I. No, that's perfectly fine. All right, guys, we got all the alligator eggs. We came across the moat. I got an alligator coming up. We got right behind me. Oh no, but it's time to go guys. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on live alerts, and I will be seeing you guys new soon for uh, a lot of new uh, cool animal videos.